Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Precious Metal Summit Day 1 here in Zurich and Commodity TV here for you. We start the morning with Tier 1 Silver and we have Peter Dembicki here, the CEO, and Christian Rios, the uh, yeah, head geologist I would call it. <laughs> yeah guys, great to have you in person here, finally we made it. Yeah. Uh, all this virtual stuff, I mean it's, it's nice to have but... Uh, to be in person much much better and uh, yeah you guys just uh, yeah bring out or brought out some news here that's really interesting mm -hmm. so what's going on what are the real results are yeah. uh, the, the, the results out of that yeah well thank you for for having us johan and uh, great to finally see you in person it's such a nice change <laughs> uh, from all the virtual stuff that we're doing uh so you know recently we came out with some news out of uh, magdalena which was one of our you know, reasons to acquire the Hurricane Silver project. Mm -hmm. And uh, through channel sampling and rock sampling, we came out with a, a new batch of, of channel samples that really exemplifies the, the robustness of the silver targets at, at, at Hurricane. Uh, so again, the reason why we went there was for the silver targets. We ended up getting Nano Huayco and San Cipriano, these incredible copper, nickel uh, grades up there. But to go back to Magdalena, and to, to really um, come up with these silver targets is, is, is really big for us. So, you know, I'm sure Christian can talk a little bit about the geology because I don't want to misrepresent. Yeah, you know, that misrepresent. would be great. Christian, please uh, give us uh, some insight into, some, let's say, more technical stuff. Why is that so important, what you have found here in those channel samplings? Yeah, for sure. It's been interesting because in Magdalena now we have four kilometers of veins. So mm -hmm. we extend in one kilometer in the veins. We have 200 meters vertical. We have all workings there. We also did some 44 uh, channel samples, and we have very high grade, like one, two meters, one kilo, also half a kilo. Wow. That's very interesting. And also we have orchards up to seven meters. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. We have the, we can grow also the four meters, the four mm -hmm. kilometers, because it's covered. So we need to do geophysics. We need to do more trenching, sampling, maybe mm -hmm. string sediments to see the real extension of these structures. And also vertical is open. So these deposits generally can go more than 500 meters up to one kilometer. So mm -hmm. the potential is there. Mm -hmm. And as Peter mentioned, we return to the silver. That's the first area that we started. We have in the Hurricane District, 13 targets. That this was 13. 13, wow. one, three. And uh -huh. this is the first target that we visited. Mm -hmm. Now we return there. And yeah, and the veins continue growing. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it uh, like um, silver is the focus or do you have also like copper, gold with it? But what's, what's going on there? In the veins, we have silver, lead, zinc, and copper. Mm -hmm. But also we're looking some anomalies in nickel, also mm -hmm. in uh, tungsten, scandium, rhenium. What is the meaning of that? The meaning okay. is that we're, we're in an intrusion related, related system. Mm -hmm. Could be a porphyry, could, could be another type. So we need, because this is a district, and we saw in, in, in San Cipriano and Añahuayco the nickel-copper component. Mm -hmm. So very important because besides having the nickel-copper in the district, having these silver rich veins makes the, the area with very strong potential. Mm -hmm. Okay. So could that mean, Peter, that we are talking about a possible copper porphyry? A big one, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's hypothetical. still too early, maybe. But yeah. could that be? Yeah, the, I mean, there's, there's something driving you know the system again you know we we want to stop short of promising that there's something there so of course again it's going to need more work to really figure yeah. out you know what's driving the system mm -hmm. but indications early indications you know uh it, it could be the possibility up there so again like we're dealing with at curabaya mm -hmm. uh where we believe we have a, a large porphyry on our hands driving that silver system to surface uh we could have you know we have some early indications that it's up there at hurricane as well so Again, if you if you take a step back and look where we are, we're in Peru. We're at the home of, of these big copper oh, porphyries, yeah. these big open pit <laughs> systems. So it wouldn't be too big of a surprise if we did land ourselves another one. So uh, so truly exciting, you know, to have that kind of uh, potential at, at Hurricane and at Magdalena. Super. So what is next? <laughs> next again is is you know Hurricane. Um, it's going to take some time to to get that to drill ready. So right now, Christian and his team are developing what we call the polygon, where we're going to put our, our drill holes, start kind of planning on where we want to go uh, with the drill once we mm -hmm. get there, whether it's at um, Magdalena, San Cipriano, Nano Huayco. And then again, at Curabaya, you know, we're getting results back from our geophysics, our age dating, uh, to really figure out the silver targets, the copper targets, and where we're going from there. So again, we know the markets haven't been that great. Last couple of weeks have been a little bit better, a little bit of a pulse. Uh, so we want to be really prudent with our cash, where we're going to spend it, where we're going to mm -hmm. go with our money, uh, and when we're going to bring out the drills. So we actually get rewarded and shareholders get rewarded for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so how is it going then with the drill permits? 
I mean, Peru, you need the permits, right? It could take longer time, but mm -hmm. does that help now what you have found? Uh, yeah, you know, I don't think results dependent speed mm -hmm. up the process. So at Curabaya, we have all our drill permits in place. Hurricane, whether it's Magdalena, San Cipriano, Nanahuayco, it's going to take probably 10 months or so to get those once mm -hmm. we apply for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have our permits that we need right now, and we have another 10 or so months to really formulate the drill program up at Hurricane to get what we need to get. But Christian and his team have done a remarkable job and in expediting the, the drill permit process. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So Christian, from uh, your perspective, you said also that you have like tungsten, scandium. Are those, uh, let's say, pathfinder metals for you? Or is there also something where you would say, mm, maybe we can use it later on? Yeah, in Peru, we have some regions, some yeah. areas in the northern part of Peru that there are some porphyry very close to scandium areas, mm -hmm. also to tungsten mm -hmm. and also to rhenium. So mm -hmm. that's why we are using in these systems also, there are some indications. Mm -hmm. Because of the increase in copper in the veins, silver in the upper part, let's sing, and also going to copper down there, plus these anomalies, mm -hmm. that makes us to think that there is something driving all this area and could be a porphyry or intrusion related system. Okay, super. So I would say it sounds like a great plan what mm -hmm. you guys want to do. And uh, yeah, wish you all the best for that. Thank you very much for Thank stopping you. by. And uh, looks like we have an interesting 2023 in front of us. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun for Tier 1 Silver. So Super. Yeah, we're excited for it. Perfect. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Christian Rias, the head geologist and also Peter Dembicki, the CEO of Tier 1 Silver. And you heard it. Good news again of the company. They are yeah, doing their pass and uh, they are really yeah, getting fantastic results so far, as uh, Christian already alluded to. And uh, I think the company has a great future in front of them right here. And uh, yeah, they are in Peru. They are in the elephant country for mm -hmm. copper porphyry uh, projects. So you should check out the company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Zurich from the Precious Metal Summit.